I'm not sure who needs to hear this message, but I need to talk to you about what happened to me today. Early today, my phone stopped working completely. I couldn't make any calls. I couldn't send any messages. I couldn't even scroll up and down like my screen was completely frozen. So after poking around on it a few minutes, I realized like I can't fix it. So I did the best thing I knew how to do, which was press the side button and the top button, right? And just turn the phone completely off. So I held it down. You feel what I'm saying? You know the process to, to, uh, to power the phone off. I did that and I put it on the counter for like 10 minutes. After about 10 minutes, I came back and turned it on. That mo was working like brand new. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And as a matter of fact, I had a stronger signal than I had before. Before, I only had one bar. And now I had four bars. So not only was it working better, like I had a better signal, like no drop calls. Demarcus, why are you telling me this? Because almost anything in this world will work again if you unplug it for a few minutes, including you. Your computer running slow? Yeah, your computer dragging, sagging, lagging, running slow? I know, I know what to do. Hold the power button, dog. Turn it off for a few minutes. Let it sit there. Turn it back on. It's going to be working like brand new. And here's what I'm telling you. Maybe you feel like my phone. Maybe you feel burned down. You, you say, man, I'm on my last leg. Man, I'm struggling. I, I'm, I'm feeling so much heaviness. You may be feeling anxious, depressed. You may be going through a lot. The people around you may not understand because you may appear to have it all together. Or, you know what I'm saying? Around everybody. Maybe you the strong person in the group. And people may think you got it all together. But deep down inside, you say, man, Demarcus, look, I'm going through it, dog. I ain't really got nobody to talk to, Demarcus. I'm going through it. I don't know what to do. I need you to do the same thing I, I, I do with my vacuum cleaner. When that thing, it, it, ain't, it ain't really vacuuming no more. <laughs> it's because I don't roll over a sock. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm going to be real. But what I do, unplug it, right? Unplug it. I take it apart. Examine it, take the sock out. You got me, you know what I'm saying? And then look, plug it back in, everything working new. Here's what I'm telling you. What you need to do is unplug. That means pull away. Unplug from the world and plug into God's word. You got me? Because God is the great physician. His word says that he is the great physician. Watch this now. That means God's word. The Bible says God's all. Uh, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. You can be set free by the word of God right now, but you got to receive it. The Bible says the word of God uh, is it, it, sharp. It's quick. It's alive. It's sharper than any two edged sword. It can pierce through any situation. You got me. And God is also called the great physician. And any great physician, watch this now, when they do a surgery on someone, not only do they know what to take out, but they know what to put in. <laughs> you got me? They know what to put in. You got me? God knows what to take out of your life. He knows what to put in. He knows how to, he knows how to pull out that bitterness, that pride, that unforgiveness, that anxiety. That situation that you're dealing with that you ain't told nobody about. God knows everything. He know what you're dealing with. He know he yeah, yeah yeah he knows how to take care of all that. So he knows how to he knows how to what to take out and he knows what to put in. He can put in you peace and joy. He get I'm trying to tell you he give you smile back, dog. Hey, you right here showing all your teeth, even that one wave in the back. People like dang, I ain't never seen that tooth. When you start smiling like that, you you must have got some money or something, huh? What's going on? Now, nah, fam, that's joy of the Lord right there, fam. You know what I'm saying? God knows what to take out. He knows what to put in. Just because you can carry it well, don't mean you should be carrying it. Because the Bible says, cast all your cares on me because I care for you. Stop walking around trying to do everything in and of yourself when Jesus is saying, just come to me. Unplug from the world and come get filled in my presence. He know what to take out. He know what to put in. God's not intimidated with your situation. He's not intimidated with what's bothering you right now. God specializes in trouble. He know what to take out and he know what to put in. On my vacuum cleaner, you got me? I knew what to take out. I knew what to put in. I had to take out my sock. You know what I'm saying? I had a little hole in it when I took it out. I was trying to vacuum fast. You know, I wanted a speed vacuum. Look, I knew what to take out. And can I tell you what I put in? 
You know what I'm saying? Can you tell you what I put in? Put a little bit of spray on. You know what I'm saying? Put a little, little, little bit of spray on that. Try to make the thing go a little, a little quicker. You know, I, I knew what to put in. And I knew what to take out. And God knows everything about you. He knows the number of hairs on your head. He knows exactly how many I got. What I got about two? Something like that. He know everything about you. He knew you before you were born. He knew you when you was in the womb. He knew you before you was in the womb. He knows everything about you. And listen to me. He knows what you're dealing with. He just wants you to release it to him and give it to him. I want to read you a scripture. Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. I'm going to put it on the screen. I got it right here for you. Then Jesus says, come to me, all you who are weary and carry heavy loads, and I will give you rest. What does rest mean? That's freedom from your stress, struggle, and strain. Take my yoke upon you. Let me teach you, because I am humble and gentle at heart, and you will find rest for your souls. See, he says, let me teach you. God, in his, humil in his humility, wants to teach us. That's why the Bible says, uh, if, anyone, if any one of you asks for wisdom, God will give it to you generously. He's a generous giver in, in terms of he, wisdom. He loves to, to, to teach you. That means you don't have to know it all. You just need to know the one who knows it all. He wants to give you wisdom about that situation you're dealing with. He wants to give you clarity. He wants to give you direction. Yeah. For my yoke is easy to bear and the burden I give you is light. Man, God, the truth. Man. I'm trying to tell you, God, the truth. Listen, the Bible says you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. See me, I'm going to be real. I done been set free, dog. And I'm not one of them people that once I'm set free, I'm going to keep my mouth closed and say they just going to have to figure it out over there. No, 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 no. I'm the type of person. I'm going to let everybody know. Look, this is the key right here in terms of the word of God. You shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Who want to be free by way of the word of God? Because, see, God can do more in one second than you can do in 10 years in and of yourself. Because God is supernatural and you're natural. So you let him work. In other words, think about it like this. I'll leave you with this. At nighttime, you know what God be putting on my heart? Demarcus, I want you to go to bed. Don't even stay up late worrying about it. Because the word of God says, I neither sleep nor slumber. <laughs> God, the truth, though. That mean, <laughs> that mean, look, I ain't got to worry. He's like, the markets go to bed. He got a long day tomorrow. <laughs> Why would I stay up and worry? Think about it. Worrying is like worshiping the problem. Worrying is like a rocking chair. It gives you something to do, but it gets you absolutely nowhere. God is fighting your battles, all right? He's he fighting your battles. So do like my phone. Take take a minute to reset. Turn it off for a few minutes. Turn the TV off for a few minutes. Tell everybody, hey, y'all, y'all be cool. I'm gonna go in the other room and close the door and get a little bit of silence for you. Know, you know what I'm saying? No disrespect, but I, but I, I need I need some time with my father. Because I can't pour from an empty cup. I am of better service to you, 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 and if my cup is filled. So let me go get filled so that I can be able to pour out. That's free game. God want to fill you. I love you so much. If you made it to the end of this video, I need you to hit that like button. Then I need you to comment the words, I love God. Because that's right. We love God. And he love you too. <laughs> God loves you, man. Let me tell you how much God loves you. If you was a booger, he would have picked you first. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, God, the truth. Uh, I love you so much. I'll see you in the next video.